Hey folks, I've been wanting to get some ballistic gel for a while in my writing and some of the other stuff I do. I have always wanted to have the capabilities of, of uh, trusting, uh, of testing ammo and expansion, stuff like that, and I never could. But what was a little bit daunting was the price tag on it. It's pretty expensive, as well as you need a place to store it uh, that's cool, um, etc., etc. And then I did a web search and came upon this clear ballistic stuff and it's 100% synthetic uh, which is a benefit because the, the two main things I like about this A. It's synthetic uh, the ballistic gelatin used by the FBI is 100% organic which means it has the potential to spoil grow mold whatever this stuff does not Number two, or B, it's temperature stable, up to 240 degrees. Gelatin, if you have it outside, obviously it's going to melt. It's like taking a bowl of jello outside, almost. This will not melt. So you don't have to store it cool, or you don't have to shoot it under cool conditions, or you don't have to be in any rush to shoot it before it melts or anything like that. This block here, uh, they do come in 10% and 20% blocks, 20% being used by NATO, the 10% being used by the FBI. This is a 10% block. This block right here costs $130 for an FBI block. The NATO block is $150, I believe. And then this here is the mold. And this is, I believe, like $50, $55, bucks, something like that. This stuff here mimics human tissue. It's non-toxic. It doesn't smell, and it's uh, almost an exact duplicate of the actual 10% gel used by the FBI. I'm, I'm not sure, you know, if, if eventually um, the FBI will switch to this. Um, I, and honestly, I don't know what they're currently using. I know they were using the organic stuff, but this stuff here just seems uh, a million times better for the two reasons I cited. Now they had, this one here is a 6x6x16, by six by I went out last week and went testing, I, I used a 357 SIG, and this is what I got. And this stuff here is addictive, as in, I want to run out and test all of my calibers. I just think it's uh, really, 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 really fun. There's just something about shooting a bullet into the mold and being able to see what it does seeing the wound cavity, watching the bullet expand. It's really, really cool. So let me show you the actual block. And this one here is unused, brand new, and that will change this weekend. And something else that's really cool about this is that it is perfectly clear. Now you can order it, that they'll put a dye in it for you. You can do red or whatever. but it comes perfectly clear. It almost looks like a big block of ice. Now this has wrinkles in it from the packaging. And to get these wrinkles out, you can take a, a heat gun or a hair dryer and blow it on the top for a while and all these lines will disappear. I actually had, I got this, it looked just like this and I actually did this to the block and made it perfectly clear. But then when you wrap it again, it does eventually get these wrinkles back in it but it's, uh, it's really neat when it's perfectly clear. I mean, it's like a big, thick glass brick. But uh, you can smack it. It's like smacking a butt. This stuff here is really, really heavy. It weighs 18 pounds. So it's a lot heavier than you think it's gonna be. You think it's gonna be light, but it's not. But, and another thing I was surprised about is how dense it is. I've never handled a 10% block before. I thought I'd be able to like press really hard and put my finger in there, but you can't. And even taking a knife and stabbing it is difficult. Just, uh, you know, if you let the weight of the knife in your hand fall on it, you're only going to get about maybe a quarter to halfway in. You got to really, really stab to get it to go in. Uh, this, that reminds me too, this stuff here can be used for uh, such things as testing knives, uh, bows, air guns, stuff like that, and they have different blocks also. 
They do sell one that's smaller for air guns. They sell one that's flat for bows. They even have a, a mold that is uh, shaped like a human torso. And you lay it flat, mold it, and then you can set it up. And that's another advantage to this, is that you can mold this to any shape, unlike the real gelatin. To remold this, you want to take a turkey cooker, or you can do it in the oven. I prefer, I, I paid 40 bucks, I bought a turkey cooker, and or, you know, one of those big pan things, not a crock pot, but like a dry ro roaster, that's what I'm looking for, a roaster, I bought a roaster. You cut these into cubes, put them in there, and you let them melt for like four to five hours at, I think it was 250, if I remember correctly, between 250 and 270. Just let them melt for four to five hours, and then what you want to do to get the impurities out after you shoot it is lay a screen over top of it, and you pour the gel through the screen back into the block. And I have done it once last night, and it worked pretty well. Um, I did have some stuff at the bottom of the pan that I, I tried to use like a spatula to get it out. And kind of had issues. There was a little bit. I probably lost maybe like one sixteenth of it is still in the pan. But it's not a big deal because I can always reheat the pan and add it next time I use it. So not a big deal. But anyway, this is the FBI block, as I said, from Clear Ballistics. And if you've ever been interested in this type of thing, I would highly recommend that you check it out. And they do have little sample blocks or little samples you can get for two bucks. And they also have bags of this stuff in, I guess it's like sh shredded form or whatever. They took this, it comes in like little flakes and you just remelt it. And those are $10 a pound. So that's also another way to get into it. Um, so anyway, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. Semper Fi.